Hey everybody, this is Melody from Melody's Makings and I am here today to do the next segment of our How to Knit series. Last time we talked about how to do the knit stitch and today we are going to talk about how to do the purl stitch. So I have my cast on stitches here on my needles just like we did at the beginning of the knit stitch just cast on anywhere between 5 to 15 cast on stitches so that you can get a feel for how to do the knit stitch I'm sorry how to do the purl stitch this week so for the purl stitch you take your right hand needle and instead of going behind on this stitch like we would with the knit stitch we're going to go in front of so we go from the right to the left through the loop in front of your left hand needle. After you have those crisscrossed and you're going through the front, you're going to take your yarn, which is going to be on the front of your project instead of on the back of your project like you're knitting, and you're going to wrap it around from the front back to the front. So I'll show you that again. Take your yarn, which is in the front of your project, and wrap it all the way around that needle so it comes right back to where it is was before. Then, just like you did with the knit stitch, you're going to leave it kind of loose, and you're going to snag that loop and pull a loop through the loop. Then you can drop your left hand needle stitch. So we go from the right to the left in front of our left hand needle. We wrap our yarn around the needle from the right to the left as well. Then very loosely snag a loop through the loop as you're pulling your needle out. And push your loop off of your left hand needle. Right to the left through the front. Right to the left loop. Snag a loop of your yarn, push your old stitch off the needle. So I'll do that a few more times just so you can watch. And same thing with this as the knit stitch. You need to practice trying to, oopsie, you need to practice trying to get your tension correct. So you want your tension, your stitches to all be even all the way across. When you hit the end of your row, you do the exact same thing that we did on the knit side. And you just turn it so that your stitches are now on your left hand needle. And you take your empty needle and you do the exact same thing. Oh, make sure your yarn's in the right place there. You just keep purling. You are going to end up, if you purl every single row, just like if you knit every single row, you're going to end up with a garter stitch block again. So you're going to have the same looking swatch as you did with your knit stitch. I want you to just go ahead and practice that on 5 to 10 stitches until you feel like you've got your tension even all the way across. Next time we are going to work on switching between knit and purl so that we'll have a stockinette swatch. And the time after that, we're going to delve into our projects. So I will see you soon. If you want, check out my website for the other tutorials that lead up to this one at www.melodies-makings.com. Thanks.